Hello and welcome to today's Dental Minute. My name is Dr. Robin Hogan from Hogan Family Dental. Our topic for today is on dry socket. Dry socket is an uncomfortable post-operative condition that occurs for roughly 2% of individuals and starts roughly one to three days after a tooth is removed. There are a few things that you can do to try to prevent this from happening. And the most predominant thing is to avoid dislodgement of the blood clot. So, First, when your dentist extracts the tooth and places gauze at the site, let that gauze set for a full 20 minutes and don't place new gauze. Secondly, avoid creating a vacuum in your mouth. When a vacuum is created, uh, it can dislodge the blood clot. So you'll want to avoid straws, avoid smoking, and avoid aggressive spitting after an extraction. Now that last one might be kind of hard because you're like, well, what do I do with a liquid that may pool in my mouth? Simply just use a Kleenex and let the liquid ooze out. Last, we want to encourage you to keep your mouth clean. So after the extraction, you will want to avoid that specific site, but we do encourage you to brush thoroughly as well as use uh, an antimicrobial rinse to keep things uh, clean. You do want to wait 24 hours after the extraction for any rinsing. Warm salt water rinses are wonderful for both the soothing um, and healing qualities. We recommend um, utilizing just uh, warm water and then going ahead and adding in uh, roughly a half teaspoon of salt and then swishing gently. If you have any questions, please reach out to us and know that if your pain does not discontinue uh, and does get worse within that one to three day period, please reach out to your dentist. There are special medicaments and gels that we can help um, place in the area to increase and promote healing. Thank you.